blue oceans, perfect skies, and as much fun as you can fit in. Bermuda's 21 square kilometer paradise packs people in from all corners of the globe once a year in only November for one of the most classic rugby events on the sporting calendar for the over 35 age group. Nothing other than the World Rugby Classic Tournament and this year celebrating its 25th anniversary. With the orange juice flowing and blood temperatures rising, the Grueling Classics tournament is not for sissies. And this year, all of the big rugby playing nations brought formidable teams to compete and hopefully take home the crystal ball. In recent years, New Zealand and Australia have taken top honours. This year, South Africa was itching to carve their name back onto the honours board. In the past, Bob Skinstad, Francois Pinal and many great names had laid down the challenge and this year was no exception. We take you behind the scenes to highlight some of the fun and motivation that has made this the best tour in the world for many players who have spent the past decade in the professional game. In Bermuda, it's uh, been an island, uh, it's uh, very susceptible to weather conditions, so uh, every game is different, one's got to see what happens when you get to the field. Um, you'll be playing in perfect weather and in 10 minutes time it could be a blizzard and rain, so we normally just uh, judge it when, when we get there and play it as it is, but uh, if it gets a bit rainy, we'll be playing phase rugby, South African, typical South African rugby, get to the line outs and drive it up with the big Fords and then uh, work phase play from there. No, I think the guys are all getting the transportation sorted out, we're doing motorbikes. It's unlike uh, most rugby where we're getting the team bus. We have team bikes down here and uh, we'll be looking like the proverbial Hells Angels when we go to the game this evening. And uh, hopefully we don't have any injuries and fall offs before we even get to the game. But uh, yeah, all, all good here in Bermuda. With a speed limit of 35 kilometres, players can negotiate all the bends. Slowly around the corners, streets are quite tricky down here. Lots of traffic, uh, lots of rain. Um, you can't go faster than 50 anyway, so yeah, just be safe, it's a big thing. 2013 captain Ryan Strudwick chats to his teammates about the game plan. The first perception was, I mean, it's going to be a nice, relaxed atmosphere, but soon get on the field, get the first contact, you realise, no, it's full on um, and full contact and get back as soon as possible into the thing. Eh? It's great to be around kind of old rugby friends again, people you've refereed in kind of the serious matches. But uh, it's been great to meet them all again and meet old foes and friends and just talk the game. Both Percy Montgomery and Heno Mentz joined the other internationals at Riddles Bay Golf Club to start their day. This idyllic vacation destination is the venue for the 25th anniversary of the Bermuda World Rugby Classics Tournament, where all of the top rugby playing nations play in a week-long tournament to obtain bragging rights as the world champions for the over 35 age group. In the past, the event was a breeze to play, but now every nation wearing their colours wants to stamp their name as champs of the world. The game is now harder than ever. Well, it's quite interesting to see Andre name on there. It's good to bump into him. Looking big as ever. Uh, some boots are with that USA team. I just hope uh, they just take it easy. Because I haven't, been, I haven't played for quite a while, but I think the boys are pretty ready, as you can see behind me. The guys are warming up. Uh, I was a bit quiet, actually, but uh, I think everything's going to be OK. I haven't kicked for a while, but um, I'm sure it's all there. Just uh, head up in force, and it should be all right. Well, I think all of us are golden oldies at the moment, so uh, I think we, as long as we don't uh, crash each other and stuff and play the game in a good spirit, you know, and develop rugby, you know, and give the supporters what they want to see, you know, I think, uh, but like I said, the lungs might be burning, but uh, let's have fun. Tough week and uh, going in, we, we knew we were under pressure, but we also knew we had the team to produce the goods, you know, we had some guys fresh out of retirement, guys like Victor Matfield, Ricky Walsh, um, Albert van den Berg, Peter Dixon, you know, blended with a few guys who've been here for the last number of years. It, uh, it made us a formidable team and we knew we had a chance from the start. Uh, Catlin, who are sponsors once again, have been fantastic, put a little bit of pressure on us. Um, and you know, last night it was a cherry on top of the cake. We, we managed to pull through three tough games, um, battered and bruised, but we came out winners and we're very proud of that fact. Look, this is a fantastic win. It's, it's not easier. Every year it gets tougher and tougher. I've been here five years and it's not getting any easier. Obviously, we're all getting older, but the standard of rugby is getting tougher and tougher too. 
Um, this year saw big defensive efforts from most teams. Um, the conditions don't really allow running rugby, so defence wins you the games, and at the end that's probably what got us through and, and won the final. Yeah, for us to be the SA Legends and Springbok Classics as we're known as over here, to be world champions once again after seven years is, is a great achievement and we're very happy about that. I don't think the guys could have made any higher level of commitment physically on the field. There was nothing, nothing was left on the sideline. And a tough game was like a war of attrition. But I'm very proud of the game we played. We brought out a great team. I think we should be very proud of the week.